YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my 19 and 2019 Bridget Pan update. I am doing this with my friend, the Neon Enthusiast. I will link her down below. Her update is already up because she is always on time with stuff and I never am. Luckily, at least this month, I had something of an excuse. I did move like an hour away from where I used to live. So it's not even like I was just moving across town. Oh no, it was a big move. Anyways, I have three more empties this month. One of which I was not expecting at all but it happened. But uh, first, I finally finished this. This is the damn marks were rubbed off, bastard. Anyways, this is the Elizabeth Mott Tense and Sass Fabulous Lip and Cheek Stain. I know it's like coating the thing a little bit, but it leaks now. I don't wanna deal with it anymore. It's done. I've been using this for months. <laughs> and I was happy to get a full size empty because I have a couple of mini cream blushes that I want to use up. Now, I can't scrape anything out of this, but it looks like it still has product, but I gave up because I got mad at it. This is the Balm's Mary Duminizer, and it looks like it has product in it, but honestly, okay, of course it came out with a little bit of product now that it's been sitting, but honestly, I can't. I mean, I'm sure I could shove a brush or something in there, but I don't care about this product enough. It gets pretty, but I was kind of ready to move on to one of my, the full size, uh, liquid luminizer that I've been needing to kind of work on. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's done. It's just a little mini. But now my hand is all glowy. And the thing I was not expecting to go so quickly it was the Tarte Cheek Stain in Flushed. Uh, this was what I was going to start working on and then I finished it in like a week. So that was not cool. I mean, it's cool because I got another empty, but not cool because I was expecting it to last longer and I really like these things. I was hoping to get some fun out of it because they don't sell them anymore. But uh, like I dug in there a decent amount. Like I'm not gonna dig the whole thing out. I just ain't got time for that. Ain't got time, ain't got the patience. Once you stop working, usually I give up. The fact that I dug in there at all is a test, is a test about to how much I actually like this. Because the only products I really like, most stuff, unless it gets super messy, like I should not have bothered taking the stopper out of this, I will usually pop the stopper out of. But uh, once it gets super inconvenient for me to use, like I have to start breaking out other tools and stuff, I'm done. <laughs> and I know that's not how everybody does it. Like some people want to, you know, cut everything open and get every last little bit. And so, like I said, if I like it, I'll cut it open. And, you know, moisturizers and stuff, for the most part, if they're in tubes, I will cut them open and scrape them out, as long as I like it. Because if it's something I really hate, hell no, it can go in the trash. <sighs> now, on to the couple of things that I'm working on. Because, like other projects, I don't, because this is 19 products, I don't show everything that I'm not working on, because I figure that's just kind of boring, you don't have to watch that. So, I'm finally working on this Tarte Tardis Pro Glow liquid illuminating highlighter. Now these liquid highlighters I just mix into my foundation because I'm not the person who's going to take a liquid highlighter and put it on my cheeks. A cream one I will totally do and I have a cream one in here that I am doing that with. But a liquid one, uh, I usually get sent these in boxes. I've never purchased them on my own for the most part. Every once in a while I'll get a wild hair and I'll buy one but not normally anyways. Little bit of progress. I'm hoping next month shows some good progress. I can't shine a light through this. The best I can do is turn it upside down and try to knock the air out of it and measure from there. So this is only a best guesstimate of where this is. Damn, things are gonna take me a flipping year to go through. And now the thing that I am really excited about is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because I have more progress. I have just about hit side pan on it, as you can see. And as y'all know, that has become my not profile picture, but whatever that term is for the, the picture you see before you click on a video, that. Because I just think it's something really cool to share. And I think I'm being really good about not just moving product around. Like I'm, this is actual use. It's not just me pushing product around for the most part. Because none of this is higher than it's ever been. Like I just took the, uh, what's it called? pattern off of it, but I didn't, that's not where I focus my sponge for the most part. Or my finger if I'm not using a sponge that day. So my next month I would like to hit side pan and then pick a way to go to start kind of 
swooping through the rest of it. Now, because I finished two cream blushes last time, I started on another one. This is the Sephora Colorful Cheek Ink Gel in Peony. I used this today for the first time and it didn't look like anything. And I know, though, if I use this with a brush, you can actually get color out of it, but I didn't have the right brush in here, so I was just like, oh, I'll just put it on my fingers. Don't do that if you have this. Just go get your damn brush. Anyways, we are starting all the way up there. I hope to have this done in like the next two months. And finally, the product that I am now putting into body lotion, the Temp2 Bo and BoxyCharm Liquid Glue. And I think I am right here because that's where like the line is. Because I can't, if I shine a light through it, I can see it. Then. I don't know what I'm barking at there in the other room. I'm actually filming in the daytime, so my husband's here, so he can take care of them. Anyways, that is my marks. Uh, I'm just gonna start mixing this into different lotions until it's gone, because now it's spring and my legs appear in the public area. No, wait, I have one more product. I almost missed this. This is my Heart Candy Highlight Contour Stick. Thank you everyone who suggested that I use this as a eye base. I am trying to finish an eye base this month. <laughs> Once I finish that, I will totally start using this for that. Now, I have been using this to kind of highlight down the center of my face because I've been using this on my cheeks. I'm wearing like a pound of makeup every day, but I kind of like wearing a pound of makeup, so it's a thing. But uh, I got a little bit of progress on it. I kind of wore down the tip a little bit. I mean, these go not nearly as quickly as I thought they were going to because I got my contour that I use every time I do makeup, y'all, like seriously. And it's really not that different. Like the point has gone down a little bit more, but like it still sticks out of the thing. Like I thought once I started using this, I was gonna have this done in like three months and it was gonna be great. And no, that's not gonna happen. That's gonna take me the rest of the damn year. Anyways, here are my progress marks for each of them. So yeah. And that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.